Hey everyone, got an LG soundbar right here, along with this subwoofer right here. The soundbar does power up. And if we go to my phone right here, we can see that it does connect. And if we try to play something, So this part works, this part's got no signs of life. Right here in the back, I believe there's supposed to be some kind of light right here, which doesn't light up, and this pairing button doesn't really do anything. No, my buddy says that the subwoofer stopped working right after he did a firmware update on it using the LG app on his phone. I did some checking up on this, and it looks like the board inside here it might have gotten, well, a bad flash, so to speak. So let's open this up, take the uh, circuit board out, and we're going to see uh, if we can get a reflash with the proper firmware. And apparently the same firmware is still being pushed by LG. So if you got one of these, uh, be a little bit cautious when you're doing uh, firmware updates. So I'm going to take the uh, circuit board out. Going to do a quick uh, once over on it. Just going to make sure that the uh, firmware thing is not a red herring. We'll double check, uh, make sure there's no blown components or anything like that. Then uh, we'll see about flashing it if it comes to that. Right, I think it's only these eight screws on the border. Doesn't feel like there's any screws under here. Let's see if we can get this apart. And there we go. Just gonna unclip that right there while being very cautious of these capacitors. Taking a look at the board now, and I'm not seeing anything obvious on this. Also, I'm no audiophile or anything like that, but uh, this part here is just a glorified toilet roll. In any case, that chip right there, that's the one we're going to try and reflash. Let's take a look at the equipment. We're going to be using the flash this thing. This right here is the flash programmer. Also, big thanks to this YouTube channel right here. This is his tutorial I'm following. I'll leave a link to his video in the uh, description down below. And I'd encourage you to go check his out. Mine is just a pale imitation of what he's doing. And seems to be a pretty nice guy as well, even if his default channel logo is a little bit unfortunate in these times. Anyways, the uh, first thing we need to do is get the markings off of this chip which is incredibly difficult. I'll pop a uh, zoomed in photo right here. And from that, we can see that the chip is an MX25 series. If you look at this programmer, you'll see it's got a 25 and a 24. So that tells us we're gonna be using these eight pins, not these. And usually there's a marking here that'll tell you where pin one is. But generally speaking, it's going to be that top right one right there. So pin one right there is going to go to that hole right there. Then we'll lock it in. And that's not going anywhere. Next up is the clamp. The red wire, that pin, that first pin right there. That's going to correspond to pin one as well. Like that. And now we can connect this thing to a computer. So I've got Device Manager open right now, and I'm going to plug this in. And you might be tempted to kind of place this on the uh, anti-static bag that it came in. I'd advise you not to do that, and not just for this, but in general. If uh, I know putting the motherboard on the bag it came in for testing is uh, pretty popular. I'm uh, guilty of that myself. But it turns out these bags... They're actually a little bit conductive, so uh, not a good thing. If you do need to insulate a circuit board, put a piece of paper underneath. It's not perfect, but uh, better in the anti-static bag. I'm going to plug this in right now. And we can see right here, it's been picked up as a, what looks like a generic parallel port. So we're going to have to update the driver. The uh, same software I'm using, AS Programmer, 
that's got the uh, driver in the same folder so I've just browsed that folder and there we go it's picked it up and perfect now I'm going to run the software and first thing we're going to make sure it's in CH341A mode which it is next up I'm just going to take this and making sure that the red pin is on that triangle mark right there I'm going to clamp this straight down I'm going to do this off to one side just to keep this on a level table and hopefully that's clamped in now we're going to click here on read ID all right so that's clamped onto the chip right now next thing is we're going to click here on read ID and it's going to prompt me as to what kind of chip this is as you can see from the picture this one's an 8035E so I'll pick that one select it next up we're going to read the chip so we're going to click here on read IC and we see the progress bar going so that's the current bad ROM that's on there right now and what we're going to do just as a precaution we're going to save that bad ROM now that we've uh, saved that we're going to click here on open file and we're going to pick the uh, good ROM that we've downloaded so this is the uh, good ROM hopefully now the last step click here on reprogram IC on the little drop down arrow and we're going to go to unprotect erase program verify it's going to do those in order it's going to ask for verification and once this process is done we should be able to just slap that board back into the subwoofer and hopefully it's working again now we can put this back in and connect this cable again I'll leave the screws off for now let's plug it in see what happens and we actually get a light now that's good got the sound bar plugged in now the phone's connected to it and we're just going to make sure that this part itself is still working now we'll plug this guy in will it connect straight pairing I think nope so looks like that's good now And I can confirm there's bass coming out of this thing. Not sure how to uh, bring it across on video. See if this does anything. So if I was to plug this out. There we go. And if I was to plug this back in again now. go all right so we've got this working again and my buddy's gonna be pretty happy if you run into this problem and you need to get the uh, downloads for the flash and the uh, programmer software ZJ does have them in linked in his video I'm not gonna put a link on mine because I think CJ does deserve the views more than I do in any case thanks for watching take care